With the structural defects, this is a new area, and this, you know, about uh, over just over 10 years ago, um, colleagues of ours had actually initially started to do interventions for very simple lesions that we know then progress to much more complex lesions that we can't actually correct after birth. And these kind of heart defects um, are very common in newborns who present very ill with a heart problem. But yet they start off as a very simple condition in the middle part of pregnancy, as a simple valve obstruction. We've now learned that through, especially recently, and just a handful of babies, that just dilating that simple valve problem can result in potentially preventing the secondary bad things that develop as a consequence, leading to a baby who in fact doesn't need an operation after birth, or doesn't need an operation immediately after birth, and has a chance of having a more normal lifetime, life, life expectancy. So this is a really critical and, and a very exciting uh, time to be in this field, because we can now maybe prevent even the development of the worst conditions that we see after birth, the one being hypoplastic left heart syndrome, where the, there's complete underdevelopment of the left heart, that after birth these babies require at least three operations and have an, a long-term guarded or uncertain future. Um, and if we can prevent the development of this condition, which again is one of the most common uh, complex newborn conditions that we see, it would be fantastic. It gives them a completely different outlook on life and an outlook, a different outlook for the families. Congenital heart problems um, in general are handled after birth. But I think one of the more exciting uh, areas for the future is the possibility that we could do minimally invasive work within the heart to change blood flow and to restore normal development. And let, let me tell you what the possibility is. Um, for years, folks have looked at a, a very bad heart problem called hypoplastic left heart and suggested that the reason this chamber of the heart doesn't develop is because blood doesn't go through it. And that if you made blood go through it like it's supposed to, that it would develop normally. And that has uh, been translated into attempts to make blood go through the left heart. And there is uh, some evidence that uh, doing that will make the heart grow and prevent a heart problem, prevent a devastating congenital heart problem. And to me, that's very exciting. And the, the thinking is this the little valve that leaves the left ventricle, the aortic valve, is uh, tight. And that leads to this whole developmental problem. And that if you could just crack that valve, which you could do with a balloon from the inside, has been done, uh, that you could get blood to go through and the ventricle would develop and you'd prevent this terrible problem. That is very exciting. I would say unproven right this minute, but very exciting, and we are certainly working on that like mad uh, and have started down that pathway.